Hello everyone and welcome to Greg Tech New Horizons. So you might be wondering where we got this excavator and also where and why we're digging out all this dirt. More on that in a second but first I wanted to get the process of making steel going as it is quite slow especially with only the one blast furnace at the moment. Then I picked up some nice quality of life things for example this backpack and I also made the hang glider, which is going to be useful for the exploration later on. It's really not too expensive, just some tanned leather. After mining up the coal, I processed it through our forge hammer, which is a very efficient early game way to process coal ore. And threw all that with some iron in the blast furnace to start making steel. So really there's two reasons for this: all this dirt removal and the excavator upgrade. First, to move on and progress through to LV, and also deal with pollution, which I'll explain in a minute. We're going to need a lot more space around our base. I don't really want to be confined to our little shelter. So I began setting out a perimeter and uh, digging out and flattening out the area. Although I realised with the shovel we have, it's going to take far too long. So <laughs> to make the excavator and all of the advanced tinkers tools, we need the tool forge, which requires alumite. And the alumite is a mix between steel dust, obsidian dust and aluminium dust. To get our aluminium, the only way we have available right now is through this aluminium gravel. So I set out on a little exploration trip, just to see what I could find. To get the obsidian we need one tier higher mining level than we currently had on our pickaxe, so I upgraded that to a steel pickaxe head. When you upgrade the pickaxe it does lower the mining level until you upgrade the tool by mining enough blocks. So I went down and tried to mine obsidian without actually checking that, so yeah. <laughs> the quest recommends clearing out a mountain, so that is exactly what I've done. After leveling the pickaxe we were able to get the obsidian, I crafted that with the aluminium and the steel dust to give us alumite, melted it in our smeltery and that gave us enough materials to make the tool forge which I then used for the excavator. So that brings us out to where we are right now and why exactly we're mining out all of this dirt. As you can see on the map here, this line here is going to be our perimeter. I want to make everything chunk aligned because of the Greg Tig multi blocks. Those things really don't like being on chunk boundaries. But yeah, one of the other projects I'd like to get done today, besides removing all this land, is going to be to actually start moving our farms over. And I want to get all this moved because of pollution. So this blast furnace in here we're using for steel will emit a lot of pollution. I think it's 200 per second while it's running. And from what you guys said last episode, pollution next to the crops is a bad idea. Another thing I'd like to do with the crops today is look into the healing axe. Yeah, this extra utilities healing axe. This thing can actually just passively refill your hunger bar and apparently it's super OP so... <laughs> the only thing is this isn't cheap and this requires 8 of each of the different types of Pam's gardens. Which is a retrieval task right, so this will consume the garden when we have them in our inventory. I have been making a start on this throughout the last couple of episodes. And in fact we have a few of them growing outside here. I think we're still missing the water one and also there's a nether one as well so we may end up going to the nether just to pick up this nether garden. And the other part we need for the axe is a lot of tofu which comes from soybeans. The soybeans we are farming here but I would like to scale this up a bit more and we'll have to find and also grow some more crops to get these top tier foods that are also required for this retrieval task. So needless to say this is a very ambitious plan for today's episode but <laughs> I think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to start today by uh, just removing and flattening out this area. The excavator should make quick work of this. Alright so we are almost there clearing out the space, we've got a little bit of stone left on the corner there and I figured now that we have the tool forge over here we're actually going to have access to the hammer as well as the excavator which is 3x3 three three except for stone and the hammer is going to help with the manual mining we've still got to do so I think we'll go for the bronze hammer head just because it's easier to repair that way. I was considering doing alumite but we only have 7 ingots left and aluminium is not something we can make very easily right now. I think we will go for steel for the large plates. I don't remember if it's one or two in this version though. It's two large plates, okay. Oh and it's also a tough rod we need here. I was going to use this Thaumium tool rod. We got this from a quest reward but I guess we'll save this and maybe put it on our pickaxe or something. And with the tough rod we have our Tinker's Bronze Hammer. Oh this hammer is slow. Oh no. 
Maybe we should have went with uh, Alumite for this. Well, I think it still beats the pickaxe, right? I mean, we can put some redstone on this once we have modifier slots. Alright, so with some space cleared out, I think we can move on to today's projects. This actually took me a long time to do this, but... <laughs> and there's still a little bit over here, to the left side of our, of our structure, that we still have to clear out, but... Yeah, this should be enough space for us today. So yeah, first thing I want to do here is lay out a space for these farms to go. We're almost ready to start the crops, we're going to talk about this in a second, but I did spot this little guy over here. He's actually not so little, but... <laughs> If we check the quest book here, there is actually one for the King Slime. If we get this guy, we're going to get a Cobalt Hammerhead. So we definitely want to take this guy on. <laughs> I'm not sure how strong he is, but judging by the fact that he's got a boss bar, uh, maybe we shouldn't overestimate this guy. Oh, we should be able to get this guy. I don't know how much damage he's going to do to us right enough. Give me Cobalt. Come on. <laughs> Almost there, but it is getting dark here, so... Wait a second. Did we get him? We got the quest. <laughs> And there's a heart there in the middle, let's pick that up. Oh, and there's a Inferno mob there. Nice, and some slime. Is this the blue slime? It is gelatinous slime, nice. And some iron boots, awesome. So yeah, I've, I've started laying out our crop fields here. And this one here that you can see the checkerboard pattern is going to be for the crop breeding that we can do in IC2. Now this is, again, something I've never played with. But I think we'll come back to that. This I just wanted to lay it out just so that we would have it here. This field is going to be for all the palm seeds that we need for the healing axe. And this one on the left here is going to be for the ore berries. So I was doing some reading on the ore berries and there is some special conditions for them to grow. I think it has to be a low light level so we'll have to tackle that somehow on that left platform. But we have a few here that we got from quest rewards. The main one I want to get planted is aluminium. But first let's figure out what we need for this healing axe. So we need to make all of these meals here. Okay, we need to farm some sort of mushrooms. Spinach? I don't know if we have spinach here. It doesn't look like we have spinach here. Yeah, this is going to be very tedious. And I suspect there's going to be a few more like that as well. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Fried egg? Oh, we're going to have to... Oh, we can make this from tofu, okay. Yeah, we're going to need various forms of berries. Oh, rainbow curry. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of flowers. I mean, we did get quite a few from clearing out all that grass area. And the rainbow curry here also takes burning blossoms, which is another plant we have to find in the nether. Oh, and this just keeps getting deeper as well. Curry rice. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to get salt somehow. Uh, spice leaf chili. I think we're farming all this already. Coconuts. We haven't found coconut yet. Yeah, this is going to be a huge project to get all of these. And we need, what is this, 20 of each? Yeah, 20 of each of these things. Oh boy, okay, I'm going to go through and figure out what exactly we need to plant on this thing and uh, probably make up a little list of what we're missing. Meanwhile, how is our steel doing? I wanted this blast furnace running permanently, basically, so we have 38 here. We used some on our tools already and there's another 23 in this chest. So yeah, that thing has been running for hours. <laughs> Okay, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Basically, the first 10 minutes of this episode that you've seen has taken me 20 hours. Yes. <laughs> 
20 hours. I mean, we're so far into this now that I'm not backing down until we get this healing axe. So <laughs> here's a little update on our situation here. So I got all the crops that we need planted here in our field. It took me so long to find some of these things, like rice. I need up uh, just getting the seed loot bag from the quest. The ones we're weighing on right now is rice, onions, and coconuts from the tree over there. However, we were able to get the 20 beef wellington, the 20 delighted meals. Probably two of the easiest ones. I mean, the cheeseburger takes a few steps to make here, but <laughs> it's nothing too bad. And then the beef wellington is probably the easiest one. This is the most simple recipe. So in fact, we're going to turn those in right now just so that you can get rid of the clutter. <laughs> so yeah, that's two of six down. I've also started laying out the rainbow curry here. That is this recipe here. We're missing the burning blossom from the nether and also the curry rice, which is what we're waiting on the rice for. The rest of the stuff we have. Oh yeah, I did also add some animal farms here. Not because we need them for the food, just uh, since we were doing farming anyway, I decided to add these guys into this part. Little tip for you guys, if you are if you decide to subject yourself to this <laughs> insanely long grind, the uh, maple wood that you need for sausage and bread, you need maple sausage for this, which takes maple syrup. There is a, a quest here for the maple sapling. Absolutely pick this up, you're never ever going to find this thing, so... <laughs> Yeah, we got the uh, the maple wood here, and if you bone meal the bottom, it gives you the syrup. Also, I want to take this opportunity to just massive thank you to Apex Predator on YouTube. He has helped me a lot over the last day collecting all of this stuff, and it actually it was under his recommendation that we pick this up. So I hope it's worth it, but yeah. <laughs> if you guys are looking for a really, really good GTNH series, then definitely check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. But yeah, the rest of the foods we have here, we have the pizza, which has to be made supreme. We're just waiting on onions for this. And we also have the rest of the things for the hearty breakfast here, uh, which is also just waiting on onions for potato cakes. Also, during all the exploration I've done, I mean, check out the, how much of the map we've covered now. <laughs> I went tens of thousands of blocks here in pretty much every direction. We also found some really, really nice stuff here, like molybdenum, invar. We found two Damascus steel pickaxe heads, which I'm probably going to melt down, actually. So, since we're waiting on the rice and the onions, I think we should actually just take a little dip into the nether. That is an infernal mob right there. He's actually pulling me towards him, you see that? Look at that. <laughs> How dangerous. I think he's got regen. Yeah, he's got regen on him, which is why he isn't burning up. I'm going to stay well clear of that guy. So, now that we have access to some steel, we can make our flint and steel. I mean, of course this is a recipe for the flint and steel, right? <laughs> There is. Should also be a quest. Okay, we got our portal set up here. I'm fully expecting to actually die in this place, so... <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Hopefully we get a good spawn. Safe spawn. Where are we? Right next to a fortress. Great. <laughs> okay, I hear ghasts. Nothing immediately dangerous, though. Let's mark the portal. And I'm not entirely sure what to expect here, to be honest. I mean, this is Greg Tech New Horizons, so <laughs> there's bound to be inferno mobs in this place. But let's just, for now, try to find what we're looking for and get out of here. <laughs> oh, and we're back to the old nether rack texture. Oh, and right next to the portal here is our nether garden. Yeah, this is the last garden we need for the healing axe quest. Let's make sure we keep an eye out for these things. Oh, you see those spiders up there? Let's back up. Let's just not. <laughs> no! <laughs> Okay, luckily we're quite near the portal. Oh, and we're at spawn. Oh, somehow the bed broke. No way. Okay, that was definitely an AFK night there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just dug underground. Let's see if we can get back to our grave. Hopefully the gas didn't actually destroy that thing. Oh, he's still there. Look at him. I don't want him to destroy the grave up there. I think to be honest, we just let him float away. <laughs> a little bit of patience here might not be a bad thing. All right, I think we're safe. Let's try to get the grave. Oh, he's back. No, 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 I'm not taking any chances with this. <laughs> oh, these spiders are terrifying. Look at them. <laughs> they jump at you. Oh, please. No. <laughs> okay, I think we can get it this time. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, burning blossoms and nether gardens. Let's just tunnel vision for these two things, I think. Are these guys imps? I remember looking so long for these guys in the vein journey. <laughs> Is that the burning blossoms over there? Let's dodge the hellhound up there. More spiders. Burning blossoms? Burning blossoms, nice. Okay, we need about 20 of these things, I think. Ah, I see a few more over that side as well. 
Oh, and there's some nether gardens here. Excellent. Alright, 26 burning blossoms, a few more nether gardens, and we are out of here. <laughs> Aha, finally, the last nether garden. 100 blocks that way is the portal. Alright, let's turn in the last two gardens for the quest. That now completes all of the garden collection. We also got all the tofu processed. I was considering waiting until LV for the mixer for this, to avoid having to use the water buckets. But these work tables here make it really, really simple to craft things like the dough and the tofu. You can lock in the recipes and even shift click when there's tools in there as well. And it will automatically pull from the internal buffer here. But yeah, all that's left now for the healing axe is just to wait on these coconuts, the onions and the rice. And then I think that completes <laughs> the rest of these four meals here. I'm going to just double check just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And yeah, I'll be back hopefully with this healing axe. <laughs> oh, we got an onion grown. Nice. So with a little bit more farming, there is 20 hearty breakfasts. I would have liked to make one more so that we could actually eat it for the extra heart gain, but it's no big deal. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna turn these ones in. Three to go. Oh, and you know what? I've actually just realised there's quests for most of these things. <laughs> we uh we probably should have looked at this beforehand. Oh well, at least we have the infrastructure to get these quests later on anyway. And I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> So we are back in the nether, and we are looking for those flowers right down there. If we're able to find 10 of these things, we get 32 bone meal, which is going to help with our onions and rice. Plus we get an LV loot bag, so why not, right? <laughs> I hope I don't regret this. There's one. Another four takes us up to five left. I think one just burned there, actually. <laughs> Six left. Okay, we're on nine. One left. There it is there. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought. So apart from the fact that a fire bat almost got us, we can <laughs> we can turn these glow flowers into the seeds, pick up our quest, claim this bone meal, and we can grab the rest of the coconut we need, as well as the onions. Gimme, gimme onions. <laughs> All I've been thinking about is onions for hours. Almost enough to make you cry. We can't forget about the loot bag, of course. Redstone torches. Really? <laughs> our first LV loot bag and we get redstone torches. Alright, anyways, with enough onions, we can craft our sausage and bread. This actually sounds pretty disgusting, <laughs> to be honest. Submit this one for the quest, which leaves supreme pizza and rainbow curry. So, bell pepper, spice leaf, pizza, onions, and a knife gives us supreme pizza. And we soft melt our coconuts into coconut milk. We'll save one to eat for the hearts. Combine the rest with spice leaf, chili pepper, rice, and salt to give it curry rice. And the curry rice we are then going to mix with blue orchids, grass, burning blossoms, dandelions, poppies, and lavender for rainbow curry. Yeah, we'll make all 20 here. And I did actually manage to find some of these in a thumbcraft chest, which is why there's already four turned in, but let's submit the rest and <laughs> claim our healing axe. Hunger no more, exactly. So just by holding this thing, you can see our saturation is magically filling itself. Wow. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, this one axe. This one axe. <laughs> you know, I was starting to debate whether it was actually worth going for this thing, considering the amount of work it takes to get this <laughs> and all the farming, but now that we have it, we never have to worry about food ever again. We're going to permanently be able to run everywhere. We no longer have to walk. <laughs> and in fact, we can probably tear all of these farms out. Oh, and it's been given unlimited durability. <laughs> I would think so, considering the cost of this thing. Alright, so with that huge quality of life upgrade, we have to decide really where we want to go next. And our goal, obviously, is to reach the LV age. Always with the spiders on the roof. What is it with these guys? <laughs> if you don't sleep exactly 6.32 on the dot, then your base is completely overrun with these guys. <laughs> oh, wait a second, he dropped some boots as well. Yeah, not too bad, some feather falling boots. Anyways, if we look ahead in our quest book a little bit, we're going to see that we need a lot of rubber. And rubber is how we make the first circuits. Yeah, your first electronic circuit is down here. We need to make some rubber bars. So to go about making rubber, we have to both have sulfur and raw rubber dust. The sulfur we can find in the nether, I think that is found between Y5 and 20. Somewhere around that region. So we'll have to do some ore prospecting to see what we can find in the nether in terms of ore veins. But this raw rubber dust here we can get from the rubber trees, the sticky resin. We'll need quite a bit of this as we also need it for resistors. Oh, and the circuit boards. 
But if we extract her this, we can get a raw rubber dust. I think we'll set up quite an, a large area, a large plot for rubber trees. And we'll start building that up before we actually need it. Alright guys, what do you think? Two chunks is enough? I think so, right? We don't quite have enough saplings to fill out this whole space, but if we chop the first few trees, it should be no problem to fill out the rest. And all this rubber wood we can actually extract, I believe, once we have an extractor. We haven't built that yet. Where is the recipe? Yeah, here. We can extract this for raw rubber dust, as well as using the sticky resin. Oh, I didn't realise this could happen. Look at this. <laughs> One tall tree. I didn't know they grew like that. Maybe we'll have to space them out a bit more. But yeah, those rubber trees will take a little time to grow. I think I'll uh, do some farming between episodes. But let's see if we can chance our luck once more in this nether. Just to see if we can find a sulfur vein anywhere. That would be really ideal if we could get that today. So I'm not sure if the nether, like the overworld, behaves the same in that... Gast. In that uh, ore chunks are every three chunks. I would assume so, but the rules could be different here, I'm not sure. One thing I am certain of here is that we are far too high up. I think we're at Y70 up here. Yeah, this is Y70. We need to be down at like Y20 or something like that, I think, for sulfur. Oh, we got some cobalt here, although we can't mine it yet. I think we need at least alumite on our tools to mine that thing. Alright, we got a lava lake down here, that's not good. <laughs> Let me do some searching just to see if we can find anything nearby. Oh, we found it, we found it! <laughs> so I've been doing some digging here, and it looks like one chunk over is the sulfur pyrite and sphalerite. We hit the jackpot, nice. I mean, there does seem to be quite a lot of lava here from what I can hear. It shouldn't take too long to pick up quite a bit of sulfur. What is this, small redstone? Yeah, not bad. Anyways guys, I think this is a good point to wrap up the episode. All of that farming and things has left our chests very, very full. <laughs> There's some more scattered out there as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. Also, I did forget about these essence berries. I may have to look into those between episodes. Although all of that exploring did mean that we picked up quite a lot of aluminium gravel. Yeah, we have exactly a stack of that stuff. Plus, I think there's some more in our smeltery as well. Yeah, 32 ingots of aluminium in our smeltery, so yeah. <laughs> Delaying those ore berries wasn't such a big deal for one day. But yeah, with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon for some more Greg Tech New Horizons.